and handle cleaning and restoration. Well, we can all agree that July, whenever it comes into precipitation, it's been few and far to come by yesterday. If you remember, we were talking about the top five driest Julys were in sole possession of third place. Sporadic scattered showers, more so the name of the game, especially down south into Noble and Monroe County. That's our only precipitation and this cluster was once booming whenever it comes into strength. Rounds of showers and storms over towards Caldwell is now uh, just a single storm uh, just to the south of Caldwell towards Ashton, Dexter City and Maxburg on uh, uh, pretty much along I-77 and then a pretty similar setup, a light rain shower towards Woodsfield, even over to Graysville and within Monroe County. Elsewhere, precipitation is hard to come by. There is a roaring storm just to our north up into the northern extent of I-77, closer to Wayne County in Worcester, Ohio. However, a pretty complex system is organizing itself along Kentucky and Cincinnati towards uh, 71 and 75. Although conditions are favorable for shower and storm potential, there is an extended severe thunderstorm watch right along the border of Kentucky and Ohio. And I do expect the trajectory to move into our region early tomorrow morning. That gives the ingredients for some scattered showers back into the forecast. I do expect that system to interact with dry air, though. And with that being said, it's not going to be anything flourishing whenever it comes into a good drink for the gardens and the grasses. I think that comes as we step forward into our Friday, but moving into our Saturday, we stay with the same song and dance scattered showers. Not everyone experiences precipitation. We're dry Sunday into Tuesday. Next dose of rain develops yet again as we step forward into our Wednesday. We can all agree that it was a warm and a muggy day, but at least it was nice and bright, sun filled and stunning, but it looks a little hazy outside. That's just because we are reporting a lot of moisture with that dew point temperature back into the 60s. Heat index values back in the mid 90s and the bulk of our region is experiencing that high heat, at least within the upper 80s and 90s, even extending on into eastern Pennsylvania. Areas that are not in through the 70s, that's where the rain activity is present right now. Although it's not anything widespread, the icon I have for tomorrow, it's the rain showers and storms. Temperatures top off near 90. It stays sticky, but it's not a washout. And I'll show you how this all plays out with predictor. Again, scattered showers, isolated rumbles of thunder linger into the early morning hours of our Thursday. But then by the time we're stepping out the door, 8, 9, 10 o'clock, we're back to clear just because we have that dry air moving through. And that's more so why I expect that to stunt our chances for rain moving forward. But then as we approach lunch further into the afternoon, those clouds will return and the rain develops a bit more widespread, though, as we step forward into our finally Friday temperatures in the near term remain in the mid to upper 80s. That stays into early next week. But Sunday to Tuesday, we're dry under partly cloudy skies. Next chance for rain back in the forecast next Wednesday.